Hey guys, welcome back. This is our final harvesting episode. Um, I think I'm going to do one more episode after this uh, to sell off all my crops. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last harvesting episode. And I actually need to get all my harvesters working. Oh, there's one there. Get him going. Let's um, jump out here and I'm going to have him just run the course play. Make sure he's driving. Um, today is October 29th, and tomorrow, guess what comes out? Farming Sim 15. If you haven't pre-ordered, um, you can do so on Steam uh, and save 10%. Uh, the promotion, I think, goes until, like, I, I checked it about an hour ago. I mean, by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be up anyway, but hopefully you guys will have um, pre-ordered and saved yourself some money. You can also buy it direct from uh, the website. Uh, farming simulator or farming dash simulator dot com, uh, and it's not the word dash; it's a dash dash. <laughs> um, let's see here. Trying to okay, there's him. There's that one. Get him going. Uh, drive course on him. See where everybody is. We're tabbing through all of our equipment. I just want to get everything going, and then I'll start barking at, to everybody. Okay, where is this one? Okay. Um. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Still got to get up and do this other field over here. So yeah, Farming Simulator comes out tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, no, I deny. And just in the last episode, just as I've said many times before, whenever I start to speed up, that's when the missions pop. Ugh, I don't get it. Um, lots of information on Farming Simulator. Um, you know, you're, we're going to be able... I've actually confirmed we're going to be able to... Uh, for certain vehicles, not all the vehicles, but for certain vehicles, um, I have confirmed like the man uh, uh, semi truck, uh, as well as uh, I know the some of the Hurley, Hurleyman tractors, probably the pickup truck, and and some of the other vehicles. You will actually be able to um, uh, choose the color. Uh, there's there is a color palette, so it's not like just any any random color. Um, but they, they will actually have, um, you know, like, like when you click the buy the, ve the vehicle, there's going to be a, a color palette that pops up and you will actually be able to uh, choose the color that you want for that vehicle. So that's pretty cool. I was, you know, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to make the same sound as the <laughs> as the new holland uh, uh um as far as the new maps that come with uh farming sim 15 there are two <clears throat> one is the new map is called bjornholm it is a nordic map completely original and the other map is called westbridge hills yay uh, i know I was really disappointed um, that, uh, yeah. Wait, where is he going? Stop. Stop. The driver. Okay, we're going to see if I can. Well, first of all, no. Let's hire him. Okay. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Get up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, so he's full. Let's, um... Okay, there is a semi here, which I need to drive the course. See where he's going to take off to here. No, 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 no. Ah, I can't. Ugh, darn you, course play. Alright, drive course. Come on. There we are. 
Uh, okay. He's kind of, oh, so he's going to go over there. Uh, let's switch back to this guy, because th this guy's full. And I'm going to have him drive the course, so he'll take that back to the, uh, back to wherever he goes to drop off the, um, the stuff. So, yeah, um, we get Bjornharm, the new map, the new Nordic map, lots of uh, tree and forestry on there, and then we get Westbridge Hills, which really pissed me off. <laughs> um, I think it's incredibly lazy. Um, from everything that I saw of the Westbridge Hills map, it is exactly the same. Um, aside from some, we'll say some texture differences. I think the texturing might be better. Um, and also, there's a silo, a completely different silo. So let, let's switch over here while all my other guys are doing different things. From what I've seen, this right here is gone. We no longer have these three silos. <coughs> there, there is a drop-off point, that, which looks similar but better than this. The graphics look a lot more realistic. And then right in this area kind of around here, there are the new silos. Then over on this side of the silo, they're very small, they're really small compared to these. Um, then there is a chute that comes out of the side and you drive under the chute and then a menu pops up saying which uh, you know, grain do you want to fill your, your trailer with. So yeah, I think a lot of people are like, what? And then I think there was like a new barn like over here and I think everything else Oh, and then there was um, another pen. There's basically like three of these. There's one for sherbets, one for potatoes, and one for something else that I, I, it was not demoed for me, so I don't exactly know uh, what that was in, what that was. But it, as far as I could tell, um, the rest of the map pretty much looked the same. Um, all right, so let's continue on. Okay, there's them. Why haven't I gone over here yet? Come on, get in here, get him going. We need to, uh, we need to get these guys harvesting. Now, one thing I thought was really cool is the way the grain spills into the containers. See, like the way it is now, whenever the grain spills in, it just evenly, you know, starts from the bottom to the top. And the new trailers, it kind of spills in. Uh, to wherever you know the uh, the the over you know the, the offload pipe is, so it looks a lot more realistic. I don't know if it kind of you know generically um, you know fills up the entire. I'm gonna just turn missions off because there's no really no point in me having. Or, I don't know, I'll just increase them to ten minutes. That way they're not popping up every few seconds. Um, but yeah, the. Um, no, I don't know. I, I think the way it looks is cool. We'll just have to wait and see, um, you know, how it turns out uh, in the in the final final game. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new map. I think it really looks like a good map. Um, I heard, haven't heard anything about Easter eggs, so I don't know if there's going to be horseshoes or anything like that. Um, giants, from what I know about Giants, they're kind of notorious for adding Easter eggs into their games, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed there and uh, hope for eggs of Easter. Whoops. Oh yeah, I did want to do that. But I want to go here. Come on, go here. Kick it into high gear. Um, yeah. So, I, you know, we got like 24 more hours to go, guys. Um, hopefully I'll have this video processed and up so that, so that you can watch this. Um, oh, another cool thing, if you can see um, the the tracks going through the field right there. Um, from what I understand, all vehicles in Farming Sim 15 will have wither wheels. I don't believe it's an option. I think they they'll all have wither wheels. Um, I think that's a good thing because obviously in the real world, um, you know, if you drive over your crops, it's going to kill them. That's just the way it is. So um, yeah. I, I still, I, I don't think um, 
the hired workers are any different. Um, some people have said, no, you're wrong. They are different, but I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right. So I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, that's really all we can do. Let's see here. What's going on over with these guys? I think these guys are all empty. So let's go ahead. Man, this one's fast. I'm going to just start driving all my vehicles back over to, like, I don't know, I'll drive them up by the shop. Somebody was like, somebody said, uh, you know, do an episode where, you know, you sell all your vehicles. And I don't know, I might do that. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. <laughs> maybe after, maybe after I sell all my crops, I might do that. But we'll see. We need at least one vehicle just so we can drive around and, you know, do stuff. <sighs> I'm trying to think of anything else. The um, the new uh, Ponzi Scorpions, those are the um, you know the new vehicles that are there for the wood cutting. Um, uh, they look awesome. I mean, I, I will I will say that yeah, those things look flipping cool. Um, it looks like they work pretty well, especially on higher end uh, computers. Um, I'm not. I'm not yet convinced how easy they are going to be to operate. Uh, they look kind of different, or not different, but uh, difficult. They did look kind of like a pain to operate, so I don't know. Okay, what's going on here, guys? Are you guys fighting again? What are... Oh, green, okay. Wait, that was the last bit of barley, right? So he doesn't really need to go anywhere. <clears throat> he can just, like, stop over here somewhere. Okay. Let's see, where am I? Oh, yeah, okay. We'll drive this guy up to the baseball fields, and then I'm going to check on one of the trailers that was over here, uh, the semi-trailer that uh, was working with the New Holland. Um, also on the Westbridge Hills map on uh, Farming Sim 15, I still do not know whether or not you'll be able to cut all the trees down on this map. Um, I heard like one person say, yeah, yes, you can, but I don't think that that person has direct knowledge. <laughs> so uh, I remain skeptical, highly skeptical. Um, oh my gosh, it's coming right for us. Wow, he filled up fast. Okay. So we'll let them go. Let's see how our... <coughs> what are these got? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Wait, where is the other... Oh, crap. I'm a... Uh, drive course. This is the other barley trailer. Right, right. I'm, I know. I'm a moron. Hey, shh. Don't tell anybody, though. 
Okay, I thought I had another semi out here somewhere in semi truck land. Okay, this one's corn. Wait. Yeah, I did want to drive him up because I wanted to get this last bit of potatoes. I want to make sure that we get that, get everything, all the, all the final corn, or not corn, but you know, all the final crops in. And there we go. And we'll have him drive now. And we will fold up our Grimma. And we'll drive the Grimma back to the shop. Hurry up, Mr. Crampy. I was kind of disappointed the, um, the, the biogas plants look largely the same. Uh, they look better. Uh, you know, they do look you know, higher resolution and whatnot, but um, the overall design of them is pretty much the same. Wait, Case IH Puma 160 in traffic. Where is a Case, Case IH Puma in traffic? It's not going to be there. Oh, it's going to be here. Stop driver. Whoops. Okay, so he'll drive now. Okay. Back into the, uh, back into the Grimma. Grimma. Uh, mirror, speaking of mirrors, mirrors do work in uh, Farming Sim 15, um, at least in all the vehicles that I've seen that have mirrors on them, so that's good news. It's just going to add a lot more to the realism of the game. Uh, hopefully they're actually, you know, you know, properly reflect and, and it's just not like a placeholder animation or something like that. That would actually piss me off. One thing that really pissed me off about the new graphics in Farm Sim 15 is they still have not aligned the suns with the shadows. Um, a lot of people don't really care, but for example, if we look and see where the shadow is right here, okay? So the shadow is going out that way. We should look over here and the sun should be in the sky. You know, again, there's the shadow. The sun should be over there somewhere, right? And as a matter of fact, if we go Actually, let's go out here to the tip of this shadow. Okay, we're standing at the tip. We should be able to look up at the tree and right in the center of the tree at the very top, that's where the sun should be. But no, the sun's over here. So the shadows don't align with the sun. And we can't even really see the sun. It's kind of behind a little cloud. I'm sorry, guys, but that's inexcusable. It's lazy programming and it it really angers me. It's it's almost like insulting to me that a company would do something like that, especially with today's technology. I mean, come on, guys. Professional Farmer 2014, which was lauded as a crap game, had that. It was just, and the fact that it's not being done in Farming Simulator is just beside me. I don't don't know why. Again, Farming Sim is still kind of a budget title. You know, 29.99. I would pay 10 bucks. I would be like, if they had like, okay, here's the the realistic lighting download mod or whatever, or add-on, I'd freaking pay 10 bucks for it. I'd pay it for it right now. No joke. I would definitely do that. But um, 
yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so let's tab around the field. I don't really need... We don't need the potatoes down here anymore. So I'm going to take those back up to the shop, too. I kind of want to gather all my big vehicles all in one place. And, um, and then we'll do, like, a big epic ending. Maybe, you know, when we do the sell-off, I guess, of all the the crops we can do that <laughs> boy he's not going too fast I don't have the front weight on here whoops whoops gosh we got a bunch of uh, oh man we got all the oh man I forgot we have all the uh, silage down there we gotta sell all that too come on go faster I like how his foot, I never did notice this before, but if you look, his left foot is on the ground and his right foot is, you know, tucked up on the pedal there. That's, that's kind of cool. I never did notice that before. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, we got we got more silage over here too. I won't worry about selling that though. Okay, Geo track is at the waiting point. That's oh, that's the uh, potatoes, the potato guy. I don't think, you know, the, now, the more and more I think about it, I don't think I'm going to sell all the vehicles because what if I ever do want to come back to Farming Sim 13 and play on this? If I sell my vehicles, I'll have a bunch of money, but then I'll have to be like, oh, i got to buy this, i got to buy that, i got to buy this again. So I don't think I'm going to sell my vehicles. <laughs> Somebody out there is like, no, why? Why? I don't know. Maybe they're not like that. Oh my gosh, my body! I can't see my body! It's kinda sad that Farming Simulator is going away But there's a new version and it'll be out in one day I've been farming... Okay, never mind. <laughs> You're like, Brad, what the heck are you doing? How are we doing down on our cornfields? Well, we're almost done, guys. Like, we are seriously, we're like almost done. Like, out here, we got. We're almost done. Okay, how do I start this thing? Start engine. Numpad enter. Oh, yeah, that's right. My tires are going backwards! You know, that's an optical illusion, right? Come on, you know that's an optical illusion. Right, right, right. I cannot wait for the new farm and simulator. 
Oh, and tracks. The vehicles do leave tracks in Farming Simulator. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know how long the, the tracks stay in one place. Like, I'm sure they fade after a while because it would just be way too memory intensive uh, for people you know, for PCs to, you know, keep all the tracks online. Uh, but I think it would be pretty cool if they were to, you know, if they stayed for like a day or something. I think that, I think that most, you know, they just kind of like gent, like gradually fade away over several in-game hours. And then, you know, then you don't have to worry about them again. Um, but I don't know. Well, it's just something. The other thing I'm really disappointed about is that, um... The field textures pretty much look exactly the same. I'm not impressed at all. Um, actually kind of disappointed. But, you know, I guess that's the way it is. Um, Westbridge Hill, like I said, Westbridge Hills looks pretty much the same, except instead of being green like this, um, it's actually like dark green. And it looks, all, all the grass pretty much looks like the, um, the grass in... The Bjorn, on the Bjornholm map, um, I'll probably jump into it. I'll probably do an episode where we'll run in, jump into uh, this uh, to to the um, Westbridge Hills map, just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. Whoops. But uh, yeah, by and large, it looked it looked pretty much the same to me. And that was disappointing. <laughs> I'll just go over and park him next to, uh, potato harvester, since this is our sugar beet harvester. Come on. I really hate articulated steering. Alright, there we are. Look at that, guys. We are almost done. Oh, come back. Why are they stopping now? I don't want them to stop. Keep going. Why are you stopping? Oh yeah, dump it in me. Wait. I don't. I didn't think he was full. Okay, I'm going to run and get into the case. Bam, bam, bam. It's piping hot. Wait, no, that was that was terrible. That was a horrible joke. Oh wait, wait, full. I want to fold that up. Okay, there we are. I 
Man, it seems like it's going fast now. The GeoTrack 94 has reached waiting points. I should just turn that off because, you know. <clears throat> I'm not going to be using it anymore. Oh, man, I can't wait. Just think, this time tomorrow I could be playing Farming Sim 15. I'm really hoping that it goes live at midnight. Man, if it goes live at midnight European time and the rest of the world can get it, oh my gosh, I'll be so happy. Yeah, the first, um, my first few episodes of Farming Sim 15 are probably going to be pretty quick and dirty. Uh, they're going to be map, uh, I'll probably do a map overview. I'll probably do one that's kind of like a combination of, okay, here's the main menu, and then this is the map overview um, for the, you know, Bjorn home probably first, and then I'll do a map overview of Westbridge Hills, um, and then I'll probably finally settle into my season one of Bjorn home. I don't think yet that I don't think I'm going to do a like a season of Westbridge Hills. I'm, I'm hoping here's keeping my fingers crossed that next year they'll, they will release a third map. You know, if they come out with Farming Sim 15 Titanium Edition um, that they will release a, another map. Okay, I don't this guy can stop because he doesn't need to be out in the middle of the field. Um, oh, and I did get my new headset. <laughs> I actually went, uh, I still haven't gotten my G35 back from Logitech. Um, yeah, it's been like two months. This, this whole process has been like two months. Um, and they even got my return address wrong on the label, so I'm really worried that my, it's, that my headset's just going to disappear. I'm going to be really mad if that does. So anyway, um, yeah, I just had to go. I went up to Best Buy yesterday, and I'm like, I need a new headset. So I bought another G35, which is probably a big mistake. But um, hopefully it won't be. Oh. Continue on. Let's get up, move up, move up, move up. Uh, yeah, the speed is a little bit off on this. I don't know why they're not matching properly. I don't, I'm not sure if it has any, or had anything to do with the ES limiter mod. I want to say that it does, but I'm not positive if it does. <clears throat> Alright, how are we doing over here, guys? Okay, he's waiting to be unloaded. Everybody's waiting to be unloaded. What's going on here? Yep, traffic jam. Ah, oh, physics. Try, of course. All right. So hopefully those guys will get their stuff worked out. And uh, we don't have much more to go on this uh, before the um, you know before the corn's done. Right, this is really this and that last little field of barley, I think. Yeah, just this up here. And these two strips here. Why does it say on field 14 that there is still stuff to harvest? I am very curious. I'm going to go check this out. Oh no, they missed some corn. All right. 
bad tractor, bad tractor, or combine, or something, whatever you are. Boy, that's a lot of corn. That's not just like some dinky little amount of corn, that's quite a bit. Glad I caught that. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, he's done. Let's uh, move this guy down over here. And then I want to move this guy. Oh, he's 90% full. Okay, good. <clears throat> We're going to move him over to uh, the wherever the trailer is. Let's so offload that. We'll have the last bit of barley, or almost the last bit, ready to go. I'm still not sure how I feel about the new Holland, the new Holland combines. I guess I'm just going to have to wait, <clears throat> get into, um, you know, farming Sim 15, and I'm sure they'll be fine. I've never been a huge fan of New Holland, and no offense to anybody that likes New Holland stuff, but. Um, Um, yep, he's almost done too. Just a little bit more corn to go. How are we doing over here? <gasps> oh my gosh, we're almost done. Hey, what's going on here? We missed a spot. to manually harvest some of the last bit of this uh, barley here. I'm sure most farmers wouldn't even bother because the cost of the fuel to just drive this guy out here is, what the heck? That just, why did that just change colors? It's almost like it's grass now. I don't know what that's all about. What is going on here? Some kind of weird steering issue here. Look at that. <laughs> it's like I, I feel like I'm drifting. It's Farming Simulator Tokyo Drift the worst movie ever I I you know sometimes you see a movie and you just can't unsee the movie that movie was I'm not gonna say the name of it again because it's so horrible horror bad okay I don't know what just happened there Am I still okay I st still have sound good good I almost want to say, like, either my mouse is going bad or one of my USB ports is going bad. I almost bought a new mouse. I saw the Logitech um, 
It's like the G502 or something 502. If you type in like Logitech 502 gaming mouse, you'll see it. And it was epically awesome looking. And of course, um, come on, hi. Of course, they were out of stock at the store. And so um, I didn't get one. So, yeah, kind of disappointed. Okay, size Puma is in traffic. Gosh darn it. You moron. Okay. And now it's like, now it's like I have this old mouse, and it's a Logitech. It's a Logitech U0007. It's a pretty basic mouse. You can get them for like 30 bucks or something. It's worked great for years. Boy, it, it looks beat up. It's, you know, probably have, has like food, food on it, spit, saliva, God knows what else. It's just a cesspool of disease. And, uh, but I've had this thing for like, I don't know, four or five years. I've had it for a long time and it's worked, worked very well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, come on back up. There we go. Get the last bit of this, uh, this barley out. Oh, while it's unloading, I can go up here and say drive course, drive now and send him back home. <clears throat> and then uh, we will be able to fold this guy up and take him back over. I'm just kind of doing this as I get time. Energy. Okay, the Geo Track is still waiting. Actually, I haven't looked at my PDA in a while just to kind of see how much. Wow, look how much barley we have. 1,034,795. We only have 531,000 wheat only. Uh, we have 812,000 canola and 684,000 corn. I actually expected that we would have more corn. Like, I swore, I, I really thought that we'd have like over a million corn from all that corn we just harvested. I guess not. I guess not. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of bummed out. Um, yesterday, the... Um, oh, God. I just did see it on my other computer. Uh, yesterday, the... Um, I think it was... I, don't, I want to say it was like Orbital Sciences. Anyway... Um, the, they launched uh, an Antares rocket that was supposed to go up to the International Space Station and take a bunch of supplies, and it exploded at launch in a big, gigantic, fiery fireball. And I'm really, I really geek out when it comes to like space stuff. I, I've actually um, gone down to Florida to watch the last two space shuttle launches. I'd never seen a rocket launch before, and I went down for the second to last launch, and um, I got some pretty cool stories to tell, but it was so awesome. I could, and I could sit there and talk about how cool I thought, it, you know, the, the great time that I had down there. But, um, I, you know, it was just absolutely amazing. So I've been always been kind of like a space shuttle geek and a NASA geek, and I like to watch all the launches. And, um, yeah, the, the one blew up yesterday, so I really feel bad for those guys um, because, um, you know, whoops. Kind of sucks. Plus, the rocket costs like two hundred million dollars. Uh, that's like that's like losing the lottery. Uh, X, right? Wait, why won't this guy turn pipe out? I don't want the pipe out. Turn on harvester. Why is it not? Why is it not letting me fold up this harvester? I 
should be able to hit X. G. Huh, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Alright, so let's... Oh, wait. Does he still have... Uh... I didn't realize this guy was full. Come on, now. Stop stopping on me. He's going to go back out there. Okay. Okay. Also, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for better, um, uh, better steering wheel support uh, in Farming Sim 15. Uh, I'm kind of assuming that it's going to be the same as 13. I don't know. You know what happens when we assume, right? <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> you know, just based on my guess, uh, I don't really see Farming Sim going out of their way to really do a ton for steering wheel support. I know that they uh, posted earlier this year, they were trying to get some ideas like, you know, if we made this, you know, uh, farming steering wheel contraption, would you guys buy it? Um, Everybody always is like, hell yeah, we'll buy it. But then when it actually comes down to it, I think very few people would actually spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks to buy a farming specific farming wheel. Um, sure, there's going to be a you know a few hardcore people. I mean, you know, if there was an, enough demand on my channel, I would probably you know use my YouTube money to to buy one. But you know, I'm not making that kind of money to really uh, uh, to do that on YouTube. So. I don't know. Alright, so that guy is finished. Let's um let's have this guy just drive now. Looks like we have another Oh look at this. <laughs> let's um just uh unhire this guy. going on over here maybe the uh, other guy will drive up here will he? won't he? maybe not I think that's pretty much it guys um, we have let's see Oh, this is the 770. At least this guy's fast. It doesn't have a very wide head on it, but at least it's fast. Oh, wait, he's got some grain in it. Oh, well. Not much. I'm going to get this guy up to the road here, and then I'm going to work on getting the rest of the corn pulled in from the field. Oh, man, we're like off-roading in a combine. Oh, wait, there's some more corn. We can get that. Driving level too fast. It is time to slow down. Well, that wasn't even worth getting. Okay. All right, so let's go over here. Stop driver. All right. Well, guys, I really, I really appreciate all of you who've watched all my videos over the course of this season um you know all you guys that comment uh i i just really appreciate all the support that i get from you guys uh, and i i really hope that you guys all enjoy the series i really do um i know i you know especially the last few months over the summer i was kind of just i just you know i knew farming sim 15 was coming out and i just was kind of like kind of bored with farming simulator 13 um 
and it's just you know it's just the way I guess the the uh, you know when you know something else is on the horizon you're just kind of like man I just want it to be here and you know I don't want to play the old version anywhere I want to play the new version and so I you know I apologize for things being kind of slow over the summer um, I really have you know now that I've kind of gotten back into the game the last you know a couple weeks trying to close out the series I, I really have been enjoying it but um, you know I we've made it to like 50 I think this is episode like 55 or something like that that's pretty good I mean you know when you think there's like 52 weeks in a year and is it, it's 52 right I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like an idiot. Somebody's going to be like, no, there's 54. There's 54 weeks in a year. No. And then, then somebody else is going to be like, no, there's 60, 67. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's roughly 52 weeks uh, in a year. Uh, and, you know, Farming Sim came out at the, what, uh, Titanium Edition came out, what, end of, no, beginning of October last year? I can't even, you know, I can't really remember now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was something like that. Um, actually, I'm going to go and have this guy drive the course and drive now. So he will go home. Drive course, drive now. And I'm going to do the same. Oh, yay, good. <laughs> Yay! My trucks got stuck, so they didn't, uh... No, that's not the truck I wanted to be in. Stop driver, yes. <laughs> Good, because I didn't want him to have to go back out to the, uh... Other, the other place of otherness. Okay, I think he is empty. Yes, sir. Drive course, drive now. And, of course, he's going to turn right into the path of the other semi. And he's probably going to bonk it. And we'll just drive, I guess we'll just drive this guy through the, uh, the movie theater parking lot. Oh, guys, we are done. We don't have any more farming to do. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to be playing Farming Sim 15. <laughs> Where we'll have to do it all over again for the next two years until Farming Sim 17 comes out. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping that Giants does well with Farming Sim 15. I really do. I think they did exceptionally well with 13, and I think they'll do even better with, you know, money-wise, like, you know, profit-wise and things like that, I think they'll do even better with 15. Um, you know, as much as I don't like to sit around and say, oh, well, you know, they're making tons of money and blah, blah, blah. When they make money and they've got a product that people really like, um, that is, that's good for us as, you know, gaming enthusiasts, as people who enjoy, you know, the farming simulations or, or really any game. I mean, whenever you have a game that does well and it's supported by the company like like giants um you know that that really means a lot to gamers um and and obvious you know it's pretty pretty obvious i mean yes there's a lighting issues or you know there might be a bug here or there but but overall you know farming simulator is definitely the best farming simulator game on the market i mean you just can't you just can't deny that um it is what it is. And, um, you know, to that end, um, you know, if you look at, if you compare it to like, you know, Agrar Sim or, you know, even Professional Farmer, Professional Farmer in some ways was absolutely awesome, superior in every way to Farming Simulator. In other ways, it was just an absolute disaster. Um, the thing that really angers me most is that the game is was pretty much abandoned right off the start um yes they had a few patches and things like that but by and large 
um, there was really, you know, they came out with like the American DLC expansion. I think the reason why they did that was because Farming Simulator had released um, uh, the Titanium Edition with the American uh, DLC, and uh, so they wanted something to compete. Um, and you know, they're they basically are doing that for a money grab. Now the underlying game, the underlying update uh, that they had that. That, that they did with the American DLC was actually very good, and it fixed many of the problems that uh, that, that game had. Um, but, you know, there were still issues that never got resolved and never will. And, and it's really unfortunate because, you know, now, you know, unless UIG, you know, releases some, new, you know, new, uh, you know, farming game, which is probably going to be crap, and they'll probably abandon it like all the other titles that... Uh, that they do, um, you know, I don't know. I, it's just, I'm just so frustrated about the whole situation. Um, you know, but, uh, oh, but, um, yeah, now that, now that, um, they don't have a farming sim out there, uh, or, or a farming simulator of their own, Giants basically has no competition. They literally have no competition. So, um, you know, I don't know of any other farming, you know, simulators on the market right now. Um, somebody told me that supposedly John Deere is in cahoots with somebody to, to, you know, do licensing and make computer games, but <clears throat> I haven't heard a peep about it. So, you know, I don't know. I really don't. Don't know what's going on. All right. Um... Got a couple, oh yeah, we got this guy out here. We gotta get down there. Gotta get all the crops in, guys. All of it. Also gonna have to sell. Gosh, man, we haven't even sold. We haven't even sold the silage. How are we gonna do all this? How how are we gonna do all this work, guys? I don't know. Okay, we can stop this guy. I'll just pull him across the road here. Okay, and this is really the last little bit of uh, of crop. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll tab through everything at the end, guys, just to be sure. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to address selling the silage. What I might do is um, I might do a time lapse. I haven't done a time lapse in a while. Especially, I used to do time lapses all the time in Professional Farmer because there was so you know you had to manually plant all the crops so it's kind of boring just sitting there watching you know <laughs> nothing happen um well i something was happening i mean i was farming obviously but uh by and large yeah nothing was happening <laughs> um so yeah maybe i'll just uh, maybe i can start off the episode do a time lapse accelerate time or fast forward time, whatever you want to call it. That way, you know, the the uh, uh, the chaff or silage, I'm sorry, will go into the uh, bioreactant chamber or whatever it's called. The bio the biohazard chamber, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll probably I'll have to do that. That'll have to be after uh, Farming Sim 15 comes. Out. I don't know. Maybe I, if I have time later today, um, I might go ahead and do that. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see. We'll see. And let's go ahead and tab through all of our video, our car, our cars, our vehicles.
No. X. Oh, X. There we go. Folding that up. Bonk. See what else we got. We got him. We got these guys out here. This up here. Oh, that's our front loader. There's our. Oh, he's way down here. Okay. Oh, we're okay. That's where we are. There. Okay. Just make sure there's nobody else out here with a bunch of crop that needs to be. Uh, dropped off. I don't think there is. Actually, I am going to stop the engine on him. No crop in there. No crop in any of that. Wait. Oh, no. Uh, there's grass in there, but that's not that big of a deal. There's our little tiny Ursus. Condor 15,001, I'm going to miss you because there's not a Condor in the new farming sim. It'll probably be like a DLC for $29.99. Um, that looks like, yeah, I think we've almost gone through everything. And I still can't figure out. Pipe is the. Chain, uh, disable chopper M. Show auto combine info 5. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why this one won't fold up. Okay, that's it. That is everybody. I'm going to gather up here. All right, guys. Well, again, this has been... You know, we've done quite a bit after the last year. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. And we will see you back for at least one last episode where we uh, we're going to sell all the crops and we'll see how much money we'll see how much money we can make guys thanks again for watching guys um, please as always don't forget to hit that like button it definitely helps me out please share please comment and if you haven't subscribe I'm Brad M73 this is Farming Simulator 2013 Titanium Edition and we have completed our final harvest <gasps> goodbye for now guys we'll see you in the next episode